Gotta go for my break. Good, good, good commentating with you, man. Good commentating, dude. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! He, Munaz with the, the voice of angels. Silky smooth. As we get right into another Tri-State Classic, or at least a New York Classic. Uh, that being Venia and Ray. You see this... Uh, oh, Ray making a, a really, really solid. And you see this... <laughs> we see this match take a whole different st style of pace than the last one, while the last one was very methodical, uh, thanks to the Pac-Man and uh, Mr. E's patience in his play. This one, Venny has immediately set the tone as uh, Duramgar has sat down with me. Yeah, and it's just like crazy how like the match has barely started and Venya has taken such a strong, firm position on the stage. He is dealing so much damage. He got Ray like backed into the corner immediately. Um, ooh. Don't know what he was anticipating there with the drag down backing, but the forwarder taking out the first stock. Yeah, that, that's quite the quite the setup that that, that Greninja seems to have out of his down tilt. Uh, out of his down tilt kill confirms whether you get up smash or uh, fair. You're gonna you're gonna be taking a lot of damage either way. As we see Venia getting off ledge with just a dash attack. That's yeah. Well, no, that was a get-up attack, and it was actually really strange that he didn't get punished for it. He get-up attacked Utopian Ray's shield, and, like, normally that's what you're looking out for. But Ray, thinking he had enough time, he tried to F-tilt him, um, but then, like, completely whipped up. Of course. Powtain's F-tilt super slow. Mm -hmm. oh. It's super active, you know, like, covers yeah. a whole lot, ridiculously disjointed, but does not have the fastest start up, absolutely. Yeah, can't really, can't spot dodge it, but you can also just stuff it out. In the meantime, Venya has made sure that like this lead is not gonna just not gonna close anytime soon, weaving in and out of uh, Palutena's effective range and just just what a call tapping out. him. <laughs> he is. I love the way that he's mixing up these jabs. Like he's hitting his shield. He's like, yeah, am I gonna multi jab? He's like calling out like this antsiness from my way just to throw out a defensive option, and then he gets a bigger punish out of it. Yeah. What a pivot grab. Top pivot grab. Vinny looks like he's been watching a lot of Summit this weekend because he's he's playing this a lot like how uh, IB, IBBW plays Fox. Mm -hmm. A lot of jabs, a lot of quick movements, and covering of where you're going to be with a quick option rather than just hard reacting to where you are. Yeah. As that up throw takes it, and three stocks to one. Yeah, and not just that, but he has ridiculous momentum on his side. He has such a good read of what Ray is going to do when he hits his shield, when he whiffs a jab. Like, he has, like, all of these mental notes in his head, and he's missed that tech again the second time in a row. Pretty sure you can just... You might be able to hold tech there. Uh, regardless, that's something that you got to be careful. Uh, you have to tech against uh, against Greninja, because that's a, that was a free 55% all true since he missed the tech. Yep. Uh, slapping that down to... Yeah, and then Ray finally was like able to punish him out of shield, which is like the first time the entire game. Like, look at that! He jabbed him twice, and then got a grab out of it. But oh my God, so unfortunate you, that he fell out of up smash. He's playing Greninja like Melee Fox, and jab, jab into grab. He's in, like, <laughs> give Greninja a shine, and he's just Melee Fox. That up smash is a uh, not that angle, but it's certainly as deadly. <laughs> Yo, he's kind of cooking right now. <laughs> I mean, I saw Venia tweet out after uh, Xeno 200, or at least, or maybe an event before that, where he just felt like he needed to start playing like himself again. And if this is Venia playing like himself, then, like, watch out, yeah. everybody. Because he's here to jab you shield twice and then grab you for He's there, he's here to mix shield. you up. He's here to mix. Speaking of mix, what is this Rosa? <laughs> yeah, um, you know, Gay plays quite a bit of Rosa. Uh, still an ultimate was a goes I mean and four uh, yes. and everything. Um, obviously not very confident in Pally right now. I haven't seen him pull out the Rosa like, and I, I can understand why he wouldn't want to go banjo, but this is my this is what I at least to my experience his bracket debut for Rosa Lina. Uh, according to the buzz, one of the one of, if not the most technical characters to play at a high level, thanks to all the Luma attack cancel shenanigans that you can pull off. Yep. Absolutely. But I feel like they might have been interested in maybe getting some more consistent out of shield punishes. Um, Rosaline and Luma definitely have uh, quite a bit of those, but also just to be able to control the pace and to get Venya out of his face a little bit more. Yeah, if Venya would have to uh, keep a keep an eye on Luma, which means you're not keeping an eye on Rosalina at all times, uh, letting him play a little bit around and start his puppet show, so to speak. Yep. 
Oh, oh and that is such. Oh. Oh, the I, trade, the trade code. I feel so bad. Chico, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> Benio was just... So Benio, he was trying to call out a spot dodge from away. Whenever he's just staring you down like that, he's like basically saying, I want you to press a button, I have you in the corner, I don't have to do anything. Push a button. Do it! Do it! Do it! This is, this is feeding into what you were saying about like more consistent out of shield options. Venia looks, uh, not Venia, uh, Ray looks a lot more comfortable sitting in shield against Venia's pressure as that is D percent. No, air, don't air dodge down. Why did you do that? <laughs> Benia, Benia says to Ray through his gameplay. Set up smash says 22, and some of these nair follow ups. Rosalina just has Ike Nair, by the way. Well, that double up air did so much damage and just knocked him up so far. That's ridiculous. You gotta get like 55% from just a couple of up airs. Venia able to just like punish him on the overcommitment to the multi jab, F smashing him for it. Ray needs to watch out his positioning with uh, with Luma a little bit more. He's always keeping Luma directly in front of him. Maybe you want to start trying to um, mess with how uh, Luma is spaced because there's a the interesting thing about Luma is that he'll always try to when you launch him with uh, Luma launch the neutral B. Luma will always try and regain to that spacing with Rosalina. So you can launch him just like a little bit forward and then just start dash dancing and Luma will move with you but then regain regain the space right in front of uh, Rosa and then go an extra like whatever foot. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of interesting mix-ups where you can just position Luma and then Luma will position Rosalina and Luma will reposition based off of that spacing. But Venia just decided, you know what, this character is like seven feet tall. Let me just back out of them in ad infinitum. Ad infinitum. Yeah, and Venia's managed to bring this all the way back, like despite the fact that, you know, he has data zero and everything. Um, but 135%. And yeah. He's just going to eat that. He Ray got the good read that he was just going to keep crossing him up. Um, and I also feel like when you get a high, really high percent against Rosalina and Luma, like, sometimes you can just eat the hit because your Luma can just, you know, smack him back for it. You can't overcommit. You have to be really, really safe. It's so difficult to make comebacks against these kinds of characters, I feel. Yeah, Luma's, uh, I mean, it's, there's a reason the matchup is kill Luma first, Rosalina second. Like, you're taking out the... Taking out the big threat, even though Luma comes back super quickly, that those extra, what is it, 10 seconds, uh, does mean a lot in, for every character in this matchup. Mm -hmm. There. And Fenya at this point, just keeping up the pressure. He had almost, the lead. Almost, Beautiful almost, idea. Almost. Just uh, he needs to be a little bit uh, farther to decide to be able to connect it, and that would have might that might have been it for all I know. Oh yeah, that's so powerful. Both. Uh, Greninja's Shadow Sneak and uh, apparently that up, well not apparently, the up match itself. Charging and murdering this princess. Yeah, anyway, barely got any damage on him that sock, only like 38%, oh. basically neg like negligible. Fantastic uh, parry punish on the forwarder. Right now, Gray is doing a good job of just like calling out Venia's Drift. Venia, oh, he was wow, in the crap. air and he was just holding in. Yeah, he lost a lot of, he lost his jump somewhere along the way, so he was DIing to survive, but also DIing right into Luma's back air as that dash attack into grab, uh, Luma dash attack, Rosalina grab, and I mean, Ray's playing this really, really well in terms of just making the making sure the pace is slowed down and not letting Venia get all of his stuff mm, right That would away. have been the full hop forward, I think maybe Venia didn't anticipate like how floaty. Um, Rosalina is. Well, not floaty. Is she light? How light she is? She is very light, yes. Mm. Like, not top five, but top ten lightest in the game. Really? Yes. I did not know that. Which is uh, dangerous considering her size. Uh, oh, just air dodging right, right over to that platform. Trying to make sure that he can keep keep landing against Greninja. Nice F tilt, just a way of like saying get off of me. And like a good like semi anti air catching like way while he was just kind of jumping in. Plus it climbed with Luma. Uh, Ray tried to land aggressively and the Eftel was active enough to, you know, I'm Fenia just shut me up and said, hey, watch this. <laughs> just so you know, Rosa's weight 82, which is three points lighter than Zelda. Same weight as Falco. Same weight as Falco. Yeah, you know, hollow bones, a bird. 
Fair enough. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, what what a I think Lei definitely deserved the spike there, but immediately just clapping back with like the double up air. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I thought it was going to be like an early stock, like something like Town and City is especially known for. Those side platforms being right there just lets you position to get those early kills. Seeing both of those players extend onto them is so nerve-wracking. Benny is just playing Greninja like he, uh, like Greninja does best, trying to catch all of this princess's landings as that Ether almost take, gets the kill, and that'll do it. That just was wonky as hell. Of water. A little bit to scoot him up and force uh, force Ray to land on either side of him. Uh, Vania yeah. reacting and punishing with that F smash. Really, really good, uh, good reaction on Vania's part. Mm -hmm. um, I think, uh. I think really the star, the you know the little cherry on top of that play the was star. how he was like, yeah, you're gonna space the safe aerial and you're gonna try to snap onto the ledge, which should be safe. However. Um, I'm just gonna run up and grab you before you did that and caught him mid air. Um, and that entire sequence was only started because he was able to get that grab and fully throw him off. 